Hey everyone. So I've received some questions relative to the Jupyter Notebooks, the exercises, and I want to put some clarity on this. So in modules two, three, and four, you have these exercises, practice exercises. So here I'm in module three. That would be the second one, practice exercise number two. And module four is practice exercise number three. They're not graded exercises. They are things for you to go interact with and um, practice the concepts, if you will, the exercise. So if you click that link, that will open up Google Colab. If you have already created your Google Colab account, which I'm assuming you have, you'll end up with a screen similar to this or identical to this. So here's practice exercise number two. And this upper left hand corner says file. If you click file, save a copy and drive. That will save a copy of my notebook to your drive in Google Drive and Google Colab. And from that point forward, that's your copy. You can do whatever you want to with it. You can edit it. So if I went and click this now, it the original's here. And now here's a copy of it. You can click on it. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Your module three, your whatever you want to call it. And from that point forward, this is yours. You can edit it, delete things, add comments in it. You come down and whatever's going on in here, import math, I can execute this code and it's connecting now, initializing, and it'll end up running that code for me. So it truncated that fractional number into a whole number. It's a square root of 16. Any of these things I can edit, run, so I can interact with this. It says half age is not defined. Well, it's not defined. I can run it again. Has a problem with the data type. back, run this way, that one worked. And why did it work? Because I typecasted age. Okay. Age came in as an integer. From that point forward, it's an integer until you make it something other than an integer. So that's what these exercises are for. When it comes to downloading it, it's just a matter of coming up here, save a copy in drive. That means save a copy in your drive. And then from that point forward, if you wanna share it with somebody else, you can come over here to share and allow anyone with that link access to it. You copy the link and send it to them. So for your module four, that first graded notebook, you'll do the same process with it. Save a copy to your drive, and then you'll go ahead and make it accessible with any, to anybody with the link, complete the tasks that are in there, and then go from there. Okay, so the module four, go look at that because that's where that 
first graded notebook is. There's a discussion here if you want to talk about the notebook with others in Canvas. If you guys have set up a Discord or a WhatsApp connection, then you can talk about it there. Here's the practice. But if we want that graded one, we've got to come over here. Here's a video talking about it. And here's where you download it. The exact same way that we just did the other one. So there's the three tasks. File. Save a copy and drive. And that will create a copy of this. I've got, already got a copy in my drive, so I don't need an additional. But that's how we save copies of it or download it. Now, if I want to download to my local machine, I go download, and I can download the entire notebook or I can download just the Python code. If you're going to download the notebook, you will need something like uh, Visual Studio Code or you'll need uh, Anaconda on your local machine to be able to interact with it. You need an IDE. That's what Google Colab is. That's your IDE for this. If you download the .py, you'll need a Python IDE. Okay. So with that said, as I've said in previous videos and notations along the way, the easiest thing to deal with for this class is Colab. And you'll go through and whatever you need to do for this first task, you'll enter it in here. And make sure you follow the comments and code organization guidelines that I've spoken about in previous videos. Okay. So I look forward to seeing your graded notebooks and hope this addresses any concerns when it comes to downloading the notebook files.